Welcome to Trapping Inc. I'm Rich Mellon. These tracks right here are made by otter. And not many people realize how many otter there are in Alberta. On my line, my quota is 12. And there's plenty of them. Like uh, you can see here that uh, by looking at the fresh tracks and they're all going the same direction, there are six or seven otter all here together. Anyway, that's what today's show's on. Let's get to her. Trapping is the cornerstone that Canada was built on. Brave and sometimes crazy men and women, fueled by the lucrative fur trade, explored and mapped our great nation. Hundreds of years have passed since then, but trapping still remains vibrant, strong, and steeped in the ancient traditions. The fur bearers still follow the old paths and live as dictated by thousands of years of instinct. Fur only gets prime in the harsh temperatures of winter and trappers must respect and prepare for the weather. Trapping's past is firmly rooted in history, but today, the gear and techniques have changed. Canada is still known for the best wild fur in the world, and today our pelts are sold on the global market. Our community is large, and our numbers are growing. We are trappers. This is what we do and where we belong. Join us in our adventures. Welcome to Trapping Inc., the face of today's trapper. So, we're traveling along. We're supposed to be setting wolf snares, and Morley sees what he says is his favorite way to get otter. You see how they travel through the through the grass here, these trails? Well, we're going to set set some some blind body grip sets, right? Put some belials on them. Yes, and uh, we're going to uh, set where they travel. You can see where they're traveling. They're coming into the narrow parts, right in here. And that's where you put your corner bear, set it in there, and it shades from the natural grass. And they'd be coming through here traveling and next round. And yeah. You yeah. have them there. Yeah, in a minute here, I'm going to show you where Rich found out how to go through the ice. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see uh, I'm wet to the knee on one side here. A little bit more, and I would have had a little more wolf bait. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Morley. At least most of my buddies would say I smell too bad to be wolf bait. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then you can see this post with this pole here that we're gonna anchor to. I was packing that when I went through and morally morally after I I scramble out and dripping off and he says, you'd have probably made it if you hadn't been packing this big log. <laughs> yeah, very true. It was the one behind you actually, a real heavy one, way heavier than this one that you had. Um Seen it was frozen so much on the side to chop. I'm gonna do a little cheater here. Put cross sticks to hold it. But uh did, this, did you put your safety on? No. Nope. Put it on. No no hooks. Right on top, yep. Yeah, yeah. That's a neat uh, one line that's uh, totally different what I use. I it works good for me. There's actually enough grass here in here to uh, hold this trap here. Well, you can sure see the otters have been traveling here. Yeah, and uh, right beside you, see where they're going in there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a <laughs> there's a hole here and a, and a hole down there. <laughs> I can find holes pretty good here. Uh, yeah, look to the right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go look there in a minute, Morley. Okay. 
You pulled the catches off on that? Yes, I did, yes. Perfect. Turn them off. There it is, can you see it? I can yep. see it, that's great. I'm gonna go... Uh... It's hanging good enough that I didn't even have to put a stick underneath in case we have a little flood. There you go, yeah, that's yeah. important. Uh, what I'm gonna do here now, is just grab somewhere behind us here, a little bit of snow here, because I didn't make too much of a mist at all, and make it look pretty natural. There you go. Okay. I'll catch up with you on the next one here. I'm going to go show everybody where I, I, I went swimming. Trapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Helford's, unique beyond compare. Helford'sMailOrder.com Belisle Traps, first in the forest. BelisleTrap.com And by Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine. Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. Alfred's new showroom is now open and the shelves are full. We have all the gear you need for the upcoming season and it's all in stock now. Snaring coyotes? We got you covered. We have pre-made snares for free hanging and power ramps, snare making kits, as well as swagers, ferrules, cables and locks to make your own snares. We have pallets of snare cable of every size and type. We have support wire and tie wire. We have certified body grips by all the major manufacturers in all sizes and applications, as well as setters and safeties and trap boxes and trap supports and trap dies and treatments. If footholding is your game, we have exactly the foothold traps you need in every brand and size, from muskrat to wolf. For fur put up, we have a huge selection of skinning knives, both flat and round fleshing beams, and forming boards and the best fleshing tools available. Halfords has got you covered, no matter what your species. Demand has been huge for years, so you better come in before the best selection is gone. Halfords, built on the traditions of honesty, integrity, and service. See where they come through here. I'm gonna follow this trail. I went swimming enough already today. Oh, you can see the Argo dip through there a bit. Yeah, man, you can never, never be too sure. No snow in December. And uh, there's a hole they were going in and out of. They're getting underneath the ice. And there's a whole rich one in and out of <laughs> oh, oh well. My dignity, dignity got hurt the worst, that's all. Did you take some sticks with you? Come here, Okay. What's that? The trickers I was setting up for. Where did you put the. Right here. Oh, yeah. This is a nice little lake, a good little otter place. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't see a muskrat push up on it anywhere, though. Uh, no, you know, and I noticed that all the different ones, eh? Yeah. Just, you don't have the... And you said before there was rats, eh? Yeah, oh yeah, there's some, some nice uh, lakes that have some nice rats on them, but... Lots of otter? Lots of otter. They kill the uh, muskrats, too. Lots Would be. And even if they kill, but... Uh, I mind that place there, but I don't want to fall in like you did. Oh, come on, I got the camera rolling. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> That's what my wife always says. Right there, there, there. This should be all right right here, I think. So we'll, we'll give it a shot. You want to set three? There's one more we can set. Yeah. I got another. I got another stick right there. Well, or or anchor log, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> right. Here I look down at my feet, and what do I see? I see another open hole here. <laughs> yeah, you have to kind of uh, watch your steps here. It's uh, kind of tricky here. I'm hoping there's enough in the sod of the grass here. Ooh. 
just to help hold the straps on, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're doing. Those are Belial 280s. Very good trap. The ul good. ultimate otter trap, I'm told. Yeah, they are. They're just the right size and they're, they're, they're really fast. See? Holds it a lot better, eh? Yep. Put them crossways. Take her off. Then I'm going to just uh, take a little bit of grass off to the side and fill it in just a little bit more. Okay. Just to, uh... Ain't that tough stuff, eh? <laughs> it's something else. I wonder hold the trap. <laughs> you could have just wired the trap to it. <laughs> oh yeah, you could too. Could. Just to shade it in a little more too. Uh... Make it a little bit tighter, right? Yeah, Raven is circling here. He thought I'd been down for the count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Just waiting for Mr. Otter. Trapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Argo UTV. Any season, any terrain. Argo UTV. Dot com. Puma Knives, knife maker to the world since 1786. And by Carl Zeiss Sport Optics, we make it visible. Gentech-intl.com Look at that incredible sunset. It doesn't get any prettier. I don't think so. But, look at this. <laughs> Morley's, uh, Set paid off in spades. Got ourselves an otter right here. All we were doing was just setting on these trails that they that they like to toboggan on. Here we go. Look at that. What a nice otter. 280 Belisle. Got the job done real fine. Let's see if I can get him out of there. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. What a beautiful otter. <laughs> I got to tell you that uh, they are a, a hard critter to, to track down. Like, I mean, they don't lure at all. They're all over the place. Like, I mean, the tracks are just everywhere, absolutely everywhere. But this uh, tip that Morley gave me on uh, setting where they go through this, you see what I got right here? And it's just uh, the slow drainage kind of between lakes and beaver dams and that kind of thing. There's just little little trickles that go through here. But what you do is you gotta wait till they make a track through it and then set set your 280 or 330 on the on the uh, track. This ever a nice nice otter. It must weigh 24, 25 pounds. They have the most glorious fur. And uh Oh, I'm really excited. I got to get a bu bunch more of this out. It didn't take very long. I think uh, set these a week ago. A week ago. Another another kind of fur where you play the long game. <laughs> awesome! All right, I've got a water set here somewhere. It was on a... Oh, right here. Hey, and I've got an otter in it too. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, is that a huge otter? Uh, what we got going on here is another thing that we look for when you're setting for otters. Uh, one, you can see that big hole there. I fell through there. Even though we're in amongst the grass and all that, you just cannot trust any of this water at all. You see that dark stuff over there? That is otter poop. That's an otter toilet. And these otters have been coming up that hole right there. And 
I guess this must be the last one that came up. Man, is he a beautiful otter. Came up, I, I the most basic set ever. I just taken set of 280, lay, lay it right over top of that hole over there and and uh, hope for the best. But let's see how big this guy is. I'm gonna have to get him out of here though. I'm scared of all this ice here. Give me a minute. Okay. Now, look at the size of this otter. He's huge. I don't know how long he's gonna go, but I mean, uh, I wouldn't be surprised it weighed 30 pounds. Unbelievable. The, uh, the 220, the 280, and the 330 Belial are all certified under Ahitas for Otter. Uh, the 280 is considered perhaps the most perfect otter trap. Uh, a little bit smaller in size, it's a little bit faster, and you seem to get more of these good zone one catches. Uh, I'm out here playing once again uh, in the middle of the night. It's always the middle of the night, it seems. But And now for Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. I just want to go over certified traps for otters just a little bit more. Um, we understand that under the AHIDAS agreement, the Agreement for International Humane Trapping Standards, that we have traps that are certified for use on a particular uh, animal. And so you have to match a certified trap to the animal. For otter, the Belial 220, 280, and 330 are all certified. And they all kill very well, not, not a problem. For doing my blind sets, I would use just these two bigger ones. And the reason being is that otters are extremely active. When they're traveling along, it's hop, hop, slide, hop, hop, slide. And when they slide, their head's up. So, I mean, they're constantly up and down. The back is up, their, their, their head is up. And they don't have long legs by any means, but just the fact that the uh, 330 and the 280 give you a lot more room for that head to be up and that. Nothing you hate more than for him to doink his nose into this, knock it over and, and not get caught. When I use the 220 is when I've got a directional set. And what I mean by that is I oftentimes will find where they've dug a hole into the side of a beaver house, or I will just take and, and uh, build a, a little cubby on the side of a beaver house. Now the otter's gonna take and directionally shove his head in there. I've got his head controlled, I've got it focused, it's going right into the opening that I want. In that case, the 220 is an awesome set for that. Just a little bit of something to help you maximize the amount of otter you catch. That was Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. Halford's new showroom is now open and the shelves are full. We have all the gear you need for the upcoming season and it's all in stock now. Snaring coyotes? We got you covered. We have pre-made snares for free hanging and power ramps, snare making kits, as well as swagers, ferrules, cables and locks to make your own snares. We have pallets of snare cable of every size and type. We have support wire and tie wire. We have certified body grips by all the major manufacturers in all sizes and applications, as well as setters and safeties and trap boxes and trap supports and trap dies and treatments. If footholding is your game, we have exactly the foothold traps you need in every brand and size, from muskrat to wolf. For fur put up, we have a huge selection of skinning knives, both flat and round fleshing beams, and forming boards and the best fleshing tools available. Halfords has got you covered, no matter what your species. Demand has been huge for years, so you better come in before the best selection is gone. Halfords, built on the traditions of honesty, integrity, and service. Well, here's something that a lot of people don't understand is that otters make an immense amount of miles just through the bush. They have their trails and, and the directions they go. They know where the creeks are, where the drainages are, bodies of water that they're headed for. And this is what they do. They just take off and go. And you can see the little guy continues over there. They are unbelievably tough little animals. Because, I mean, they, it's not bad enough that they, they have to walk this or run it or whatever, but they slide it on their bellies as well. These are great spots to take and, and set a, a blind set. Like right at where he goes underneath that tree there. He will come back and uh, go through there again. I prefer to set them a little bit closer to the water. Um, you know, where they come out of the trees headed for the water or something or, or for a, a beaver dam or creek or whatever. If I don't set on the drainages between the bodies of water. But they, they just make miles and miles and miles. This little fella here. 
He's headed to the water. He's actually going the opposite way of what I'm walking right now. And you can see here, he traveled on my on my track for a long ways. Run, jump, skid, run, jump, skid. And the neat thing is, the body of water he's headed for over there, I have uh, three traps in between it and the next body of water. So maybe, maybe I'll be lucky in a day or two. Here we got our beaver dam, our big wide open area. And then it starts to uh, get thicker. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything upstream of this or not, but I do know that earlier this year, an otter had come through and uh, you know made some made a trail through these uh, through this grass hummocks here. So I followed his trail and I took and set myself two traps here. <clears throat> And I can see that I have an otter. You never know what direction they're going to come from, is the neat part, right? And this guy here actually came from, I guess it would be upstream. But you can see the trail they've got here. And what you got to do is you got to follow that little trail that they make until it comes into a thick spot where you can take and plunk a, a trap in. See, I have another one right over there. And you can see that. It's just sitting there waiting for them to come back as well. But I know which direction this guy came from because I took nailed him right there. 330 Belial. And I'm I'm a big fan of either the 330 or the 280 in these situations. Because they are moving, their heads are up and down so much. You know, they have very short legs, but I would not go any smaller than a than a 330 or a 280. Here's something that I do too. As you see this here, I got a, a nice pole here and I just take and wrap my chain around it and it's anchored. He can't go anywhere and I got a, one anchored at, at the other end as well. I think this will be nice and soft. Let's see about getting him right out of here. Oh yeah. yeah. Look at that catch. Wow. You just can't get any better catch than that. It's a female so it must be a pretty good sized female. I wonder how old she is. She's stiff. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice female. I'm gonna reset this trap here, so I'll just uh, show you what it looks like after I'm done with it. All right, there it is reset. You can see, I just put a little bit of grass up and around it. Just to give it a little bit of a break up. He knows definitely where he wants to go. And he just isn't gonna see it, right? The last thing I always do on any of these is remove my safety. These Belials are phenomenal traps. They're also scary as heck. <laughs> and here we go. Nice otter. He probably weighs in that, uh, I don't know, 17, 18 pound range. Off we go. Well, our time just flew by today and I never got a chance to do any fur handling. So I'll have another show coming in where I will show fur handling. Uh, otter are a little bit different handled than, than other fur, mostly because they have a, a very tough grisly fat on them and we have to worry about singeing. Their fur will singe. Amazing. They spend their life sliding on their belly, yet we have to worry about, uh, about the handling for that. I think it's fascinating how we can target a water animal uh, up on shore, you know, where, where it's up on the on dry ground. I, I just think that being able to read the animal and take advantage of its own instincts and habits is just one of the greatest assets that a trapper can have. I hope these tips help you in your pursuit of otter and we'll see you out on the line. You can keep up with all the action at trappinginc.com or join our Facebook and YouTube sites.